So this is you. And you get last place in every single tournament. Obviously, you don't know you wanna know why. So today we're gonna be going over one of my games in the Reloads Squads Cash Cup where we actually gotta win. I'm new to my stream for, for this because my uh my reloads kinda kinda glitched a bit. Bruh. Yeah, so let's just hop into the stream and I'm sorry for the bad quality, but I'll be explaining things on the way. So let's go. So the first step is to know the point system of your tournament. For example, in the tournament, one elimination is worth one point, but a victory royale is only worth 15 points. So you want to go for kills, as kills will give you more points. This is our last game of the tournament, so we do play a bit more passive, but we do still end up getting 13 kills. And a victory royale, of course, which total uh, totals out 28 points. So now we quickly farm up, get some good mats, good heals, max shield, good weapons. Basically get everything that we need to get stacked for this tournament as it's gonna as this is our last game. So we're gonna need lots of good loot and good stuff in order to win. Here we're finally rotating out of that POI after getting good mats, good loot, basically everything we can get for that POI. And we actually spawn end up spawning a team and we actually end up pushing them. And I'm gonna show you guys how we push them, how we make sure that we don't die while pushing them. I almost have five five five. I'm five four point seven five. Oh five, landing, three, landing yeah, close spot. Where? Oh, nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just clipped this kid. Nice, watch out above us. I'm holding, I'm holding. I'm gonna check. So, as you can hear, see here, we absolutely pick off this bot. I don't know what he's doing, but I quickly start holding the wall so that we can't get sprayed in as my teammate heals and tries to break out. This is very important. And then we start making some space in the next clip, and you guys will see what we start to do to make sure that we don't get beamed and get crushed on while we're in one box. I don't know if this is worth it, guys. Yeah, we have to kill these kids. I got hit hard, I got hit hard, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing. As you can see right here, this kid makes a rookie mistake not placing a wall behind him in a cone or a stair in his box. Now, later he does put the stair, but still, this is a rookie mistake as we're easily to full box him and spray in and kill him. That's good. Guys, wall. Yep, Why am I pickaxe out? I have nothing, I have nothing. Okay, I killed him. I need to reload, I need to reload. Popping minis, popping minis. Oh, bad. Purple flash jack. I'm gonna chug. If you're messed up, I probably shouldn't have been checking to my teammates. Make sure they always comment to your teammates that you have chugs or heals. I'm so scared right now, bro. Watch it. Tell me, big. There's more kids over here. I think it's a cypher team. We're about, we're about, we're gonna need to rotate a little bit. So here that I'm saying on brick or metal, as these are hard mats, so kids can't easily spray into yeah. our boxes and kill me. They're running. So as you can see here, what only takes around one second to shoot through. This is very short. So like, yep, one second right there. But metal takes around two to three seconds at max HP. So this is important as metal will actually give you longer time to like edit out, prepare, Six. or just assess the situation Crash? so that way you don't, you don't die. In the car. Dead. 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 Not with the fence. With the fence. Okay, wait. There's one more kid left. He's on the roof. I see him. There's two. We, there's need, two. we need 20 more points. I know. I know. I know. Okay, all my charges are gone. We need Watch to fight out. together. We need to fight together. We need to fight together. Yeah, everyone get up here. The box! Holy! So here we work as a team. I'm missing space here and we grapple up to kill this kid. We end up wiping this team off of the lobby. Make sure you're always working as a team, calling to each other your master heals. Basically anything. If you need help by your teammates, you have teammates. So make sure you're using it to your advantage. And yeah. He runs, I'm just gonna beam him. Just push him. Dead. Let's go. Nice Dubs, that's a team out of here. So basically everything that we did in the fight, they should pick it up. So we build a lot of hearts, we make sure to work as a team, we may also make sure to make space, make sure you're making a lot of hearts, we also make sure to calm each other if we need heals or we need help. My teammate, he's right here. Ooh, I'm, getting <laughs> behind. I'm getting I'm getting third party. Pop quiz. In this situation, what should I do? A, build a lot of hearts. B, edit down on the first behind me. Or C, tarp out. If you said A or C, you'd be right. 56. Oh, you're alone, you're alone. I'm on my way, Pog. As you can see, another thing that I do is quickly hover hey, over to my teammate when he needs some help. Even though he's white three guys here, it's very important that I come over to him just in case, because it is still it's just 3v1. Right here, bro. I'm, I'm sitting in this bush. Oh, Gliding. Oh. Guys, I think we just... Have we minis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have so many minis, bro. After realizing the fight is over, it's not really worth it anymore. We can really dip off and start refarming our mass and heal up. This is very important as a fight can drag on too long, waste all of your materials, all of your heals, and then be shambled for the rest of the game. Oh, watch out on height, bro. 14? 50? 26? 
Oh, down here, down here alone. Cracked, cracked, cracked. Push that, push right that, push, here, that, push right that. As you can see, we constantly put pressure on the run person away. making sure that they can't run away. Run. We end up killing him, so that way he's out of the lobby. Nice, so nice. make sure you're always applying pressure yeah, when you're pushing someone, run. as you can give them time to heal up and their teammates to come over to them. Right here. 21 white! Beam this guy, bro! Yo, hard pushing, we have Behind, one. behind, behind. Just As you can see, see here, we're actually spreading from our boxes. Make sure you stay safe. As if we were to do a full out push, you would get beamed and probably die here. So make sure that you're not always pushing something. Even if you crack someone, make sure that you're pushing smart. If it's a whole team, you probably shouldn't push. Right here? Right there, in there, bro. In the in that hut. One I saw footsteps. Least. Yep, okay. That's one. <laughs> don't read the bush, don't read the bush, don't read the bush. It's two, it's two, it's two, it's right two. Right here, it's a bad play by shockwaving. So make sure you're not shockwaving, especially when there's two of them in the box, as we're able to pick up his teammate as a teammate is alone and he has no mats. So make sure you don't shockwave in the same box as you guys can get split up. It's on the cypher. What do you need? Cracked. Just don't get hard beam. Why did 56? Nice. Oh, that kid's so low. It's fine, just keep the I'm pressure I'm scoping up. on him, I'm scoping on him. Oh. Okay, so right there, Fred makes a really bad peek with no one should be doing. He makes max peek. I'm going to be making a video of peeks later, so make sure to check out for that. But make sure you're not doing peeks like this, as it's going to get you being the end game and you lose heals. One, five. I got 900. One, one, five? Here, take half my... 5.74. Uh, 5.74. I mean, sure, have my wood, my bad. Like oh, that guy just got lasered up this guy. Guys, do not go on crash pads. Yeah. Whatever you do, bro. There's some absolute yeah. demons. I, I just, we just watched some kid just get absolutely lasered. Like, poor kid, bro. Oh. As you see, we prioritize getting into circle as this is very important as Storm does like a lot of damage, especially in end game. So make sure you're prioritizing getting circle over kills. It's not really safe to go in Storm. Just get a couple kills that you probably aren't worth it. It's probably more worth it to get in circle and then hold the kids. Yeah, yeah, make a box. All right, I'm in. Okay, why are we making our box out of the world? Wait, there's one right there, bro. There's one. What is me? What is me? Push, push, push. Push this guy, bro. He's so low. It's fine. 20? It's so here this kid ends up killing one of our teammates, Prog. But luckily, uh, Fred is able to clutch up and we're able to res him. This is probably a bad play for leaving on our part, but make sure you're being more careful instead of just jumping kids' boxes because you don't actually know if they're full health or just low, especially if, even if you beam them, as it might be a different kid like it was in this situation. I got these. Ready? Okay, okay. Ready? Set? Go. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Boxes, boxes, oh boxes right here. Oh, shit. Here we make a pretty bad play as we're all separate now. Luckily, I built out of tar, tar mats, so we're able to be okay and I start snapping at this kid. Luckily, Fred and Prog end up coming into our box and we're okay. And I'm not knocking this kid here, but we could quickly get into all the same box and on low ground. This is very important as we probably would have died if we didn't. Nice. Got it, got it. Okay, just. Okay, okay, let's calm down, calm down, calm down. Top eight, top eight. Help, 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 help calm, bro. Help spray with calm. Find us, find us, find us. Watch mine. Yeah. Oh. Yo, okay, bro. Okay, well, we gotta make a bit more space here. We're like. Yeah. We got a long road. Here, the team on uh, height starts hard pressuring us, uh, but we make sure to stay calm and stay collected and make some more space. I mean, I mean, this is very important. That freaking out could probably lead you to like, running into the rocket. Luckily, you don't do that here and dying. So make sure that you're just staying calm and end game, even if you're getting hard sprayed from height and you're making up some space so that way you don't die. If we get rocketed in here, we're kind of like hard shambles. Don't let a rocket in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Three teams left. Come to me, come to me, come to me. Three teams left. Yo. Go, 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 go. Go down. Whoa, someone just edited me down, bro. I'm below. What are, what are our mats looking like, bro? 1 HP, 1 HP. Nice, nice, nice. I have make five... people shambles, bro. I have 500. Five. So here we're just sitting on low ground, making sure that we're just splitting mats, making sure that we're ready to push up for height when we are ready. And this actually just hurt us later in the end game because we actually don't push our height, which we should be doing right now as we have max mats. So make sure you're watching out for that and you know when to push height because you don't want to push height too late or too early. Here Fred actually grapples up behind something and pumps. This is a bad play, but he's actually grappled up backside, which is why he actually lives. I'm going to be talking about that later, but make sure make sure you're not doing what Fred does. And probably also the grapple up there and go for height, but make sure you're being careful splitting mats. And when you're playing low ground, even if you're getting sprayed, make sure you're staying calm just like we do here. I have three med kits, bro. Do you know how Keep to me alive. Do you know how? I'm going do you know down. How? I'm going down. Wait. I'm going down. Just like Wait, where are you, where are you fight at? Where if you, you can. Okay, we need to go up. Give me med kits. Give me I'm everything. Give, give the... me everything, bro. Here's the med kits. Here's the med kits. And okay. I'm gonna go up. Okay, go up. They're dropping on us. Up. Coming up. 
You can see here, this was a very bad play on our part, as Dean probably ended up dying here. You should never be grappling up in the middle, as this is very bad, as they'll just double spray you and you'll die. You always want to grapple up backside or something. So right here, as you can see, this is an example of what happened in this. I'm going to show you guys what you should do and what you need to do. So as you can see, we quickly grapple up onto the next floor. This is a kind of example of what happened, but as you can see, this guy already has sights on us with his AR or a shotgun. Here is a shotgun, same with the person behind, which we cannot see. So as you can see, this these people both have their shotguns on me, which means I'm probably going to get double shotgun and die. Which you can see as I unpause right here, yeah, I die. And my teammate also comes up behind me where I can't call him the person's behind me because I can't actually see him yet. We both die. So I'm going to show you what you should, should be doing in this situation. So here is an example of what you should be doing. As you can see, both these people still have their things, but they're in mid ground looking for us where we're going to grapple up in the mid. Now here we grapple the backside, taking a little bit of storm damage, but as you can see, these people are absolutely lost. Like, I have no idea we're here. This person is barely turning around when I already have my shotgun out and my sights on him. So as you can see, before they can even realize what's happening, this guy can even come to his teammate. I can, I'm going to pause here. Yep, shocking this guy in the head. So as you can see, now the other teammate is aware that this is happening. And I quickly pull my grapple and grapple over and pull up my shotgun. I some grappling, which is a glitch. Now, if this guy was placed a wall here, which he does not... I could just go around him, tug on the wall, but he does not hear, so I just pull up my shotgun and I shoot him. And as you can see, this one's us a fight, as we are no longer beans and we actually have a chance of fighting. So make sure you're doing this and not doing the other way around. Right. Quick end of the fight, um, calm absolutely uh, pops off, so let's just see this right here. I'm just gonna play heal off. I yeah, just play heal off, play heal off. Just get into circle, bro. Try to get as many kills as you can. Just easy, easy kill. Nice! Spray, 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 spray. Calm, it's up to you, bro. You need to frag out here. Yes! Kong! Oh, oh my god! god. Kong! Oh. You're insane. Kong, go down! Go down! We can win! Kong, go down! It's 2v1! It's 2v1, Kong! I believe. I'm healing off. Oh. So as you can see, after Kong's pure skill, we end up popping off and winning here. Wait, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and go check out all the channels that are linked in the description. And thank you guys for watching. I really, I really hope you enjoyed it.